Ten days after learning she was pregnant, a woman gave birth to her daughter. Before becoming pregnant, Sam Hicks had taken a number of pregnancy tests, all of which had come back negative. Only ten days after finding out she was having her first child, a Portos head mother welcomed her new baby daughter into the world. Sam Hicks was sent to South Mead Hospital on January 11th, where she gave birth to her daughter, Julia Hicks. On January 2nd, Sam, age 40, and her husband Joe found out they were expecting a child after Sam took a pregnancy test. Despite working in a nursing home, Sam's pregnancy tests had all come up negative over the course of the year. Joe had taken that there were some indicators. Sam's thrilled father, on the other hand, chalked it up to stomach difficulties because she'd taken many pregnancy tests, all of which came back negative. When Joe, age 32, felt a kick in his wife's stomach while relaxing on New Year's Day, Sam decided to put the couple through another test. The next day, Sam opted to take another pregnancy test, which revealed that she was three weeks pregnant or more. The couple, who already had two children, Thomas, age three, Johnny, eight, were caught aback and began making preparations right away, such as scheduling scans and midwife appointments. Julia, on the other hand, had other intentions and arrived early for her regular visits due to respiratory issues. Sam is still in South Mead Hospital with her baby who weighed 7 pounds, 8 ounces, and was born at full term. She is, however, making good progress, and Joe believes that they'll be able to return home in the next several days. She was looking forward to seeing them again. When Sam was admitted to the hospital in November with coronavirus, he expressed his delight. It was incredible that her pregnancy went detected all that time. Of course, when she was admitted to the hospital, she was questioned if she was pregnant and she said no. Therefore, Sam, Joe, and Thomas were all confirmed to be infected with the virus, with Johnny being the only one who did not. They were isolated from the rest of the world. Sam was admitted to the South Mead Hospital on November 25th with respiratory problems, and she was released four days later after undergoing therapy. When she arrived home, she was in terrible health. Joe recalled and she was slow and didn't seem to be improving. After spending an additional two weeks at home, Sam returned to work. The holiday season was spent with the family as usual. Sam had to do his job. Joe picked her up at 1 p.m. after she walked for 40 minutes. That particular afternoon, he went to work as a lorry driver after that and returned home at around 1.30 p.m. When he got home, Sam expressed anxiety about what had happened, causing Joe to call for an ambulance. We discovered she was having contractions, so she contacted the maternity unit at Southmead, where they ordered her to come in. Joe kept track of Sam's contractions while the two of them drove to the hospital. She said that she was maintaining an eye on the time on the car's clock and that they were coming every six minutes. At 12.40 a.m., the couple came to the central delivery suite. According to hospital records, Julia was born at 3.14 a.m. Julius's oxygen levels were initially a source of worry for the hospital and she was admitted to the newborn intensive care unit. Joe is hoping that Sam and Julia will be able to assist him in the coming days. Julia's arrival came as a tremendous shock to Joe because they already had two wonderful boys. We couldn't be happier with our choice because she's simply lovely. She recalled sitting down with the boys and informing them that they would be getting a new baby brother or sister. When they found out Sam was expecting, Johnny, Sam's older brother, was ecstatic at the prospect of a new sibling, albeit Thomas was too small to completely appreciate the situation. According to the doctor, siblings usually need more than a few days to acclimate to the news that a new baby's on the way. According to Joe, the family's been able to obtain a few items in preparation for the baby and the days coming up to delivery. Joe explained that he's a planner and they already had a seven-seater car so once they realized the dilemma, they were able to get some of the larger equipment. After learning of the unexpected arrival, families, friends, and neighbors banded together to present gifts. They have a lot of stuff now, a lot of outfits, Joe exclaimed his happiness. The generosity and goodwill of our family, friends, and neighbors, as well as the local community has been overwhelming. We simply want to show our gratitude to everyone who's helped us. They had already put the two boys in an adjoining room with bunk beds after deciding to relocate this year, so they could use the spare room for storage purposes, which will now serve as Julia's room, Joe clarified the situation. Julia hasn't even made me weep yet, which means she's amazing. Only when she's hungry does she turn a little gruesome. According to Joe, Julia is certainly the family's final member. 
Joe stated categorically that he and his wife had no plans to have any more children for now, but who knows what happens in the future given previous events. It's difficult to believe. Then there's the woman who was informed she couldn't have children by physicians. When she went to the hospital with a stomach ache, she discovered she was pregnant and gave birth four hours later. Despite being warned she'd never be able to have children, she gave birth to her first daughter barely four hours after discovering she was pregnant. Danielle Adams, a 28-year-old bartender from Stoke, went to the hospital with stomach pains she attributed to constipation, her appendix or kidney stones, among other things. Danielle was rushed to the Royal Stoke University Hospital when an ultrasound indicated she was nine months pregnant, where she underwent an emergency C-section and gave birth to baby Maisie Rosemore. Danielle cried when she learned she was pregnant, but she was happy when her daughter was born, and she now considers herself and her 36-year-old partner, Stuart Moore, to be a family. Danielle had only noticed a dry mouth for the previous nine months, and she'd not experienced any kicking. She craved croissants, but she didn't have the typical bump, and she ascribed her one-stone weight increase to pandemic lockdown. She claimed that when she found out she was pregnant, she thought the doctor was making a joke on her. She fell into tears when he finally persuaded her because she was so taken away by what he had said. Her feelings were euphoric. She didn't think she'd be able to have children, so it was a surreal experience. The news came as a bigger shock. She's a complete miracle to them. Doctors were concerned that Maisie Rose's oxygen supply may be threatened because her heartbeat was showing. Danielle described the experience of actually being able to hug her kid as a high, stating that she felt on top of the world. Her heartbeat continued to drop and they couldn't tell her if it was a boy or a girl or if they were healthy. The scan only captured the top of Danielle's leg, which was upsetting. For several days after she was born, the mother was on a high. She was laying down when she initially had her in her arms, and they placed her on her chest, which was fantastic. Her memories of announcing the birth of her daughter is very vivid. It was the most fantastic thing in the world, and she's brought them all together and turned us into a family. She's the one who's brought our lives together, because he wasn't allowed to enter and eat Stafford County Hospital due to the coronavirus pandemic. Danielle had to inform Stuart over the phone that he was going to be a father. When Stuart arrived in his automobile, according to Danielle, he was overjoyed. She asked him while driving to Royal Stoke if he could call his mother and tell him that he was expecting a child. His mother was taken aback when he called her. She dropped down a ton of goods for us on her way back from my sister's residence. We had to start saying no to things because friends and family were bringing her items over and sending them in the mail. It was just amazing. It's a fantastic sensation to be able to give birth to another human being, she went on. She now looks at her and wonders how on earth they came up with such a gorgeous creature after such a hard period of adjustment. It was a fantastic experience, and she's truly remarkable. The county hospital and Royal Stoke University Hospital staffs should be commended for their efforts. She was discharged from the Everlasting Unit only four days after giving birth to her, where the midwives and nurses were wonderful. Stewart described the entire experience as bizarre, saying that she was taken aback at first but afterwards felt immediately proud when she clutched her trophy. Her initial reaction was pure disbelief. Everything seemed unusual when she arrived at the hospital to see what was going on. The sense of awe stayed with her until they entered the operating room, and then there was this incredible thing that happened. She was overpowered by feelings and couldn't believe what had happened as she held her in her arms. They weren't expecting to have children since they weren't expecting a child and weren't seriously considering anything, which meant that they weren't actually thinking about anything. Their way of life has undergone significant changes. The following are some of the indications and symptoms of pregnancy. A missed period, which occurs at the start of the cycle and leaves you feeling sick to your stomach or nauseous is the first and most reliable indicator of pregnancy. Morning sickness is the name of this type of nausea, but it can strike at any time of day. It's common to feel tired or even exhausted throughout pregnancy, especially during the first 12 weeks or so. Your breasts may grow in size and sensitivity, similar to how they felt before your period. Food flavor and aroma may alter, as well as appetites, and you'll urinate more frequently. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.